Thanks to Spur, thanks to TechSoup, thanks to the other speakers. Uh, it's been great so far. I always find that I'm wearing the same shirt every time I present um, and I'm at Photoshop, but not today. I did it. Uh, so my name today is my pronouns are she and her, and I'm the founder and CEO of a tech company called Liquidoni. And what we uh, have as our mission is that we're here to accelerate the world's transition to a circular economy through scalable technology solutions. So how we do that is that we work directly with retail stores, with brands, and with businesses to donate all of their excess inventory to nonprofits for free. So the problem is that retailers don't have a sustainable way to handle their excess inventory today, and they're incurring $761 billion in merchandise returns every year. Nonprofits, as many of you know, need items for free or at zero cost, and each year, 6 billion pounds of waste is generated in returns. The other number that I like to point out here is that 80% of items that are returned in the United States go straight to the landfill. Sad. Wow. So what we've done is that we've built a product that has three main components. On the left side, we have our network of retailers, and on the right side, we have our network of nonprofits. Nonprofits register on our site for free to access all of the items that are available from community members, from businesses, and from retailers that have donations. And what we do is that we have a donation as a service API, it's our tech component, that integrates directly with a return service so that your item will go directly from your home to a nonprofit instead of from your home to a distribution center to a landfill. The second part of what we have is a matching algorithm. So we're building the largest internal database of nonprofits and schools in the world. And that matching algorithm will take the things that you want for your nonprofit and it will determine if you found a good match for you. Our matching algorithm has three main components. One is location, so distance from the donor, so we can uh, make sure that we're reducing our emissions and the transit of that. The second one is um, the category of items you want to be notified about, so how good, how, how good does this item map with what you need. And then the third thing that we take into account in our algorithm is equity. So how do we make sure that, you know, we, we love Habitat for Humanity, they're one of our partners. But a lot of people make donations to Habitat for Humanity. A lot of people make donations to Goodwill. So how do we make sure that that nonprofit that is a little bit less well-known than them, or even way less well-known than them, is able to get access to these free items as well? And so we take that into account as we uh, prioritize who's getting the notifications about our free items on the site. And then the third thing is that we handle the fulfillment logistics. Uh, my prior job to this is I was the 15th employee at Postmates. I ran a bunch of different teams there, customer service, sales, business development, and then I ran two food security programs. One was called Food Fight, where we enabled all the restaurants to just press a button on their merchant tablet and have us come pick up their excess food and have it delivered to low-income housing units and nonprofits in 800 cities across the U.S. And the second product was called Bento, and that enabled people who didn't have access to smartphones to text the word hungry to a specific phone number and receive a free meal from the nearest Postmates pickup restaurant. Those two products significantly informed a lot of the different things that we had. Uh, I was like, I saw a stop, I was like, wow, I haven't talked that long. Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, building those two products at Postmates and my time at Postmates really showed me that one thing is that nonprofits and businesses, they want items gone now and they need items delivered. Getting them from point A to point B is something that makes things too complicated and it makes it easier for the retailer to just throw it away unless we make it one click, one button for them to be able to make that donation. So that's what we've enabled with the fulfillment logistics. We also do food rescue in the city of San Francisco. So for those of you who know, there is a new state law, SB 1383, and it requires businesses to donate all of their excess food or else they will get a fine. <laughs> it started on January 1st of 2022. Enforcement has been zero to none. Um, and so the city has decided to run a program called Kitchen Zero, where they've partnered with five or six different organizations that will come actually pick up your food for you and donate it to make it easy for you to do that. And the city is providing grants to restaurants of up to $14,500 this year. So that program is called Kitchen Zero. If you're interested in talking to the city about that, we could be one of the companies that comes and picks up your excess food and takes it to people who need it. 
Um, as a certified green business too, uh, for the state of California, we are doing sustainable social impact. We focus on having a low carbon footprint and our number one metric that we focus on is landfill diversion. So if 80% of returns are going into the landfill, we're taking all that 80% and diverting it automatically to nonprofits and schools that can use those items. <sighs> yeah, we have another slide, but we're out of time. Uh, it's scalable. We love scalable. Uh, it's a seamless integration. Uh, so fun fact, a little bit nerdy, but if you like to get into the weeds of stuff like I do, uh, there's 42 companies that handle returns across the world. No way. 42. <laughs> uh, so the odds that the company that you're making a return on their website for, the odds that you're using a third party processor in order to handle that return are extremely high. There's 42 companies that do that. We've seamlessly integrated with three of them so that when you're checking out in the checkout process and that company has partnered with us, you will automatically get a label that ships that item to a nonprofit that has requested that item when the company knows that item is going to the landfill otherwise. And it's easy to sign up and there's questions. <laughs>